Hi, welcome to another episode of Emerging Tech Talk. I'm your host, Dan York, and today Skype is actually delivering something that many of us in the Mac environment have been clamoring for for a while, which is an updated Mac client that brings it closer to parity with the Windows product and not uh, lagging quite as far behind. Now, in doing this, Skype has pretty fundamentally changed the user interface. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. I'm sure it's going to be one of those things that will polarize a lot of folks. So here we are. Now, when I first look at this, I'm, it's all in one window. So that's a big difference that's here. And up at the top, I've got my contacts. I've got everyone, my address book. And then I have access to various different groups that I might have set up. But if I look at the everyone list, I can be able to go and see you know, who's, who's in here, who's available. Um, and I can look at somebody, I can initiate a chat, a video, a call. Notice that I can go and call Alex Saunders' other phone numbers in this case. I see mood messages, all of those different pieces that are part of this. Now, for the address book, I actually have access to my full Mac OS X address book. I can also pop this contact area out if I want, and I can see who my online contacts are among my groups and, and people that are there, so I can see who's there. So I have this little window that can stay up and stay on part of my screen. Now, for the chats, what's different is that before there was a drawer kind of motif that opened up. It was a sidebar. It showed you your chats, and they were sorted by date, by title, or you could manually sort them. Now, they're just sorted by, uh, by, by date. So you can see here it's got today, I've got yesterday, this week, this month, things like that. There's, there is, though, the ability to go and, and create a, a, a a chat and call it a favorite. I can add it to my favorites. And now it will show up here in my favorites area. And these are fixed chats that will always be here. So these other ones down here, will this list will change as more and more chats come, etc. But this list up here is fixed, and so you'll be able to go and see that. I can go and take that chat again. I'm control clicking it and removing it from my favorites, and then it goes back into the chronological list. In an actual chat, it's you know your basic chat. It's a little bit more white space, a little bit bigger. Another big change is that instead of having a list of users over here on the left side, they're now up on the top. So you can see the different people here and 58 more. I can click this, open it up, see the people there. It's a little bit harder, I find, to go and do that. The other big difference is you can't pop these chats out. They're stuck in this one window. So you can't have multiple chats displayed on your page. This was a problem with the Skype uh, 5.0 or 4.0 when it first came out on Windows. And then Skype brought back the classic mode so you could be able to shift the windows or split them out. We still don't have that here in the Skype 5.0 beta. So, but that's a bit of what, what the chat looks like. I'm going to go back to my contact area. I'm going to go and I'm going to call, I'm going to look up uh, Phil Wolf. And here's Phil Wolf. And I'm going to give Phil a call. Now notice I've got Phil and then I've also got um, chats in which Phil participates that are on my system. So I'm going to call Phil. Hey, Phil. Hi. How are you? I'm awake. That's pretty good for right now. It is. You're on, uh, you're on the left coast time there. So you're what, five in the morning now? Uh, six. It's uh, 6.30. 6.30. Okay. Well, let's bring in uh, Jim Courtney from uh, Tor Toronto. Before I do that, I should say, when I'm showing Phil, you'll see in the client that when it usually starts up, it starts up like this, where Phil is taking up the entire right-hand screen. What I've done, though, is what I can do is I can go down here to the bottom, and there's a little slider that I can pull up, and I can be able to open this up so it fills is now part of this window, and the chat I have with Phil is below that. So I can type in that chat, and I can talk to Phil, et cetera, in this chat window. You'll also see that the video controls dropped away after a certain period of time where I don't have the mouse over the window. So now I'm just seeing uh, Phil and I. I can also get rid of the sidebar. I can do other things. But let's do the group video calling. And I'm going to bring in Jim Courtney, and here's Jim. Okay, he says he's testing, testing, and his mood message. So let's see what happens. Okay, it's flipping us over now to a multi-conference, and so Jim is here. Hi, Jim. Good morning, Dan. How are you? Good. We don't see your video. Oh, here it comes in. Yeah. The other <clears throat> interesting aspect is you do see when you have the controls up, you'll see active talker as far as when Jim coughed or say hi, Jim. <laughs> Good morning, sports fans, and all those Skype fans we out in the world there, too. There you go. 
How's the or maybe right to, maybe to fair phrase Canada's favorite uh, sports phrase. Oh, there you go. Hello, world, and Skype fans in the United States. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough Canadianisms for the moment. But as I was there, you could see that when Jim was talking, his name became green, so I knew that he was the active talker. So, so we we can say that when you are talking, Skype makes you green with envy. Uh, oh, please. Okay. Did and I say it on different under, jokes? Instead of under windows where you get a blue halo when you talk. Oh, okay. So, and then this is a multi-chat down here. So, again, I can say, uh, hi, Jim and Phil. And we can be able to see all those. And we can share files, do all the different types of things that are there. So, this is a Skype video. Let me show you a couple other things. If I click on Phil, all right, double click on him, he drops down to an icon. And Jim is now the primary part of my screen. So, uh, Jim, you're now taking up most of my screen. Phil's still down there. And so, Phil, if you... Uh, do you watch the Giants? Sometimes, uh, not anymore. The season, the world. We won the World Series. What else is there to watch? <laughs> but as you saw uh, Phil talking down there, you can see he's still streaming video, and he's uh, he's showing his active talker. So we could. Yes, uh, I'm. I am. I'm not. I, I'm still really here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, if I go and I double click on Philly comes back up here into the screen and we've tested with a couple other people too. So it does go, what's the, what is it? Sport six people? Is it? It depends. Uh, it, the, it's stated, it depended on the processor and internet speed. So I think it can support up to seven people. But as, yeah, I, as you, I heard, ten, I heard 10, but no, this one is the guide says seven, but it also gives you guidelines as to what the internet speed needs to be and what the CPU resource needs to be on the hosting computer. Uh, okay. So this is, yeah. the, this is the group video. Um, when you go to start to do your first group video, you have to accept a trial item, which says that you will uh, agree to trial it for 28 days. It doesn't say what happens after that 28 days, but it just says you're, I'm live until November 28th, and after that, I don't know what will happen. Well, anyway, I'm going to go wrap up the rest of my screencast. So thanks, guys, for uh, being part of this. Welcome. Thank have you, fun. Dan, okay. and have a good day. Look forward to your post. Thanks. Bye. So now the call's over, I can go and continue to have this chat. You'll see it here, it's underneath my today, and I can be able to go and chat with Phil and, uh, and Jim about this, or I could just leave the chat. So that's a lot of what the Skype 5.x client is, is looking like. It's got group video, it's got uh, the, the chat, the new user interface, the dial pads down in the lower uh, left corner if you want that. You can go and add a person or add a chat. Um, it's going to take people a bit to change, uh, I have to say, because I think it is a, a very new user interface. Uh, the chat menu is now the conversations menu. There's a lot more that people will, uh, I think, take a little bit to get used to. But that's it. You can get it from Skype's website, and uh, it is available, we are told, today. Thank you for watching. You can find more about this at blogs.voxeo.com slash ett, or send me an email at dyork at Thanks.